Hey guys, what's up? Akasan here. I'm just wanting to go over something I just saw. This is coming courtesy of The Verge. I just read this off my Yahoo page when I was logging in, checking this investigation I'm going, and I wanted to talk to you about this because I think it's actually pretty important for all of us. So bear with me here as I basically read the news to you with my radio friendly voice <laughs> and I'm too tired to are again kind of frustrated and disen uh, not disenfranchised but just discouraged a bit to set up the reactor studio right now Google Plus and YouTube are finally splitting up a Google account will be all you need for Google's popular services now this is very very important because Google Plus has been integrated forced they've been trying to force Google Plus with YouTube for the longest time and I understand why they did it but this is specifically with my channel and that's the reason I'm kind of reading this to you there's a problem with this um, with why Google Plus has been such a problem anyways Google is officially divorcing Google Plus profiles from its other, more popular services. Today, the company published a blog post announcing that over the next few months, a Google account will be all you need to share content, communicate with contacts, create a YouTube channel, and more all across Google. The decision comes several months after Google stopped forcing new users to create accounts <laughs> under its social network, which has failed to become the Facebook and Twitter competitor Mountain View once hoped it would be. Google has also split successful Google Plus features like photos into standalone products, a strategy it says will continue. We're well underway putting location sharing into Hangouts and other apps where it really belongs. Google's Bradley Horowitz said, We think changes like these will lead to a more focused, more useful, more engaging Google+. Your underlying Google account won't be searchable or followable, unlike public Google Plus profiles, Horowitz says. And for people who already created Google Plus profiles but don't plan to use Google Plus itself, will offer better options for managing and removing those public profiles. I hope so. YouTube will be among the first big services to move away from Google Plus. Some of that starts today. YouTube says comments you make on its pages will no longer show up on your Google Plus profile, but the ability to create a YouTube channel, upload videos, or comment without a Google Plus is still months off. The company says, and it's warning users not to remove their Google Plus profiles before that day comes, since doing so will also eradicate your whole YouTube presence. <laughs> Do not do it now or you'll delete your YouTube channel. No way. Google insists that Google Plus isn't going away and will continue to provide an interesting, interest-based social experience for users who've grown to love its communities. But for everyone else, it'll finally be much easier to walk away from Google Plus in the weeks to come. And then this is this dude. So... And the reason I'm bringing this up a lot is because uh, over the last couple of weeks, uh, there's been a few issues, and uh, I've been looking more into with investigating several different situations and controversies. Um, one of the things that's come up is Google Plus a lot, and um, when you are actually trying to get support, just in general, even when you call YouTube, you're get you have to you you when you're calling YouTube, you're basically calling Google at this point, and People, the tech support team in Google, not, don't always know exactly what's going on with YouTube, and it gets very, very frustrating. Uh, so that being said, I'm hoping, I am hoping that this is actually a step in the right direction. I don't know fully, uh, but I really, I really, I really need it to be. That's the main issue because, uh, for example, uh, we were talking about channels being verified and such even the process of getting being a verifiable channel 
You know what the main problem, like I actually applied for getting verified, like a more verified, not partnered with YouTube, but a verified channel. And this goes back into another uh, video that I made a while back, very controversial, I guess. Pretty unaware. Uh, uh, the One of the things about getting your channel verified and in order to get it verified, if you actually look, it's Ryan Wright. Ryan Wright is actually the only, one of the only few channels that actually have a verified um, uh, check mark. Let me see if I can check it really quickly. Let's see, the real rejects. So see if you guys can see it as well. And I'll show you. Yeah, see, right here, this little check mark, it's verified, okay? The real rejects is actually one of the few reactor channels, uh, maybe the only reactor channel out there that has this little check mark. And this is a verified thing. This is a, what uh, the representative was kind of talking about is uh, channels with verified names. Okay. So, is it, but in order to become verified, you know what you need? Verification badges are applied to a YouTube channel connected Google plus identity. This badge help, helps a uh, help visually confirm the authenticity of a brand so basically that uh this is where you go act a uh, you go <laughs> youtube actually goes in verifies that uh, the youtube account is legit but here's the thing the problem with that because i even I, I wanted to get verified because i thought oh shit this might be kind of cool one i saw a user on twitch uh, a member of the Red Reddit Nation recommended that I do that. And I'm like, yeah, I want to get verified. Fuck yeah, I get promoted and everything like that. And one of the problems, but here's the issue. is uh, I, I, got, I got denied a few days ago. And the reason why, you know why? <laughs> everything on my channel was legit. With the exception that my Google Plus page. <laughs> my Google Plus page didn't have enough followers or whatever. And that's where that I guess that's where what the draw was. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, Ryan has on his channel, but um, that's basically one one of the main reasons is um, they said I didn't apply because my Google Plus page, my Google Plus page, was not. Um, it only had like 200 something followers or something like that. So it's very interesting this uh, this issue. Anyways. And so I hope, I hope that with Google Plus separating, making its way out of our YouTube life, that things are going to work for the better, basically, because we need them to. We need them to get better, and uh, YouTube needs to get a little more legit, so to speak. It'll still be Google running YouTube, but I just hope that they dedicate a better idea to how to run YouTube properly and... Um, just get a little more tuned in to what's going on here. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think below about Google Plus. Are you happy that it's leaving? Did you get adjusted to it already? Let me know, okay? Talk to you guys again soon. Peace.